Hello, in this video I'll show you how to make your own fresh butter. This recipe is super simple and has very few ingredients. The main ingredient is heavy cream or heavy whipping cream. I add two cups of heavy cream into my stand mixer. I find that if I add more than two cups at a time, it's too large for this mixer to handle well without spilling some over the edges. I use the whisk attachment on my stand mixer to make sure that the heavy cream whips up really well. I also mix this on the highest speed possible. A great tip for getting your butter to mix up really fast is to have your bowl and your whisk attachment chilled. The colder that the cream is, the faster that this will whisk up. We're going to whisk the heavy cream until the liquid that's in the cream separates from the fat that's in the cream. The fat that separates out of the heavy cream is what will be the butter. I've sped this footage up, but it took about five minutes for the fat and the liquid in the heavy cream to start separating. Once I saw that they were beginning to separate, I took off the whisk attachment and started to use a paddle attachment. I did this for two reasons. One, it's a preference of mine because I think it makes less of a mess once the liquid actually fully separates, and two, I think it's easier to see in the video. I keep mixing on high speed with a paddle attachment until I see a lot more liquid starting to separate out. At this point, I'm standing watch over the butter the entire time because it happens very quickly once the liquid starts to separate out. If you aren't there to drop the speed down to low right away, you can have a quite a mess in your kitchen. This clip was at regular speed, so you can see when I switched the paddle attachment down to low speed, and you can see how the butter started clumping together and all of the buttermilk separated out. I let it mix on low speed for about 30 seconds just so that all the butter comes together and it makes it easier to separate for the next step. At this point, I scrape down the sides of the bowl and scrape off any of the butter that's stuck to the paddle attachment. Now I turn everything out into a strainer to separate the butter fat from the buttermilk. This buttermilk can be saved and used in other recipes. However, don't expect it to taste the exact same as buttermilk that you buy from the store because typically that buttermilk is cultured. Now I squeeze the butter in my hands just to try and squeeze out as much buttermilk as possible through the strainer. Any buttermilk that I don't get out at this step, I won't be able to save because the next step is to wash the butter in ice water. I've prepped a bowl with water and ice cubes and I dump the butter directly into this bowl. It seems really odd to wash butter in water because you think that it might start to mix together, but that won't happen. Butter is a lipid, which means it will not ever mix in with the water. The only thing to worry about here is to make sure that your water stays cold enough that your hands working the butter won't start to melt the butter. You can see the water started to get cloudy as I continued to wash the butter. That's because of any of that residual buttermilk that was still stuck inside the butter. Once I've washed the butter for a bit and the water shows cloudy, I take it over and dump the water into a sink. Then I add new clean water and additional ice cubes and continue washing the butter. I wash the butter over and over until the water no longer is cloudy. It may take three or even four times of changing out the water before your butter is entirely clean. This cleaning step is the most crucial step to making your own butter. If there's any of that buttermilk that remains in the butter, it can cause your butter to spoil within two to three days. However, if you're able to get all of that buttermilk out of your butter, this can last in the fridge for a couple of weeks. Once your butter is completely washed, you can flavor it however you would like. You could add salt, you could add Italian herbs, you could even add honey. I left this butter plain because I'll be using it to bake a chocolate cake. I do like to roll the butter into a log just to make it easier to store in the fridge or freezer. Now you can enjoy your butter however you would like. Before I make that chocolate cake, I did want to taste this on one of my banana nut muffins. Just look how smooth and creamy this fresh butter is. Thanks for watching this video on how to make fresh butter. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and as always, like and subscribe to see more content.